literature and English conversations. 4.1 D.H. Lawrence's The Horse Dealer's Daughter and English conversations. The Horse Dealer's Daughter is a story. It was written by D.H. Lawrence and published in 1922. The father of the province was a horse dealer. His death seems to be the end of the rest of his family. The heroine of this story is Mabel, who has three siblings. Their conversations appear mostly at the beginning of the story. In the fifth paragraph, you can find a depiction of Joe. Joe, the eldest, was a man of 33, broad and handsome in a hot, flushed way. In the eleventh paragraph, you can find a depiction of Fred Henry. Fred Henry, the second brother, was erect, clean-limbed, alert. He had watched the passing of the horses with more than Freud. If he was an animal, like Joe, he was an animal which controls, not one which is controlled. Malcolm joins the conversation that follows the 11th paragraph. He was the baby of the family, a young man of 22. Another character is a doctor. His name is Jack Ferguson. There is a depiction of Jack Ferguson after he enters the house of the perverts. He was of median height. His face was rather long and pale. His eyes looked tired. He has ordinary conversations with Mabel's brothers. But his conversations with Mabel are quite different because Mabel persistently tries to confirm that he loves her after he rescues her from drowning and restores her to life. She believes that this is an act of love. Let's take a look at the ordinary conversations between Jack Ferguson and Mabel's brothers. When are you off them? Off you? Asked the doctor. I'm catching the 1140, replied Malcolm. Are you going down with trap, Joe? Yes, I've told you I'm going down with the trap, haven't I? We'd better be getting her in them. So long, Jack. If I don't see you before I go, said Malcolm, shaking hands. He went out, followed by Joe, who seemed to have his tail between his legs. Well, this is the devil song, exclaimed the doctor, when he was left alone with Fred Henry. Going before Wednesday, are you? That's the orders, replied the other. Where? To Northampton. That's it. The devil, exclaimed the Ferguson, with quiet chagrin. And there was silence between the two. All settled up, are you? asked Ferguson. About. There was another pause. Well, I shall miss you, Freddy, boy, said the young doctor. And I shall miss thee, Jack, returned the other. Miss you like hell, mused the doctor. Fred Henry turned aside. There was nothing to say. Mabel came in again to finish clearing the table. What are you going to do then, Miss Purvin? Asked Ferguson. Going to your sister's, are you? Mabel looked at him with her steady, dangerous eyes that always made him uncomfortable, unsettling his superficial ease. No, she said. This conversation between Jack Ferguson and Mabel is in sharp contrast to their conversations in the later parts of the story. This story starts with Joe's question. Well, Mabel, and what are you going to do with yourself? Asked Joe, with foolish flippancy. The less into poverty has convinced Mabel of how much she has been suffering from a pointless life. 
So she chooses to attempt suicide. As a 27-year-old woman, Mabel refuses a life of death in life. So she chooses to follow her mother into death. Let me turn the conversation between Jack Ferguson and Mabel after she is rescued into a dialogue pattern. Mabel, Dr. Ferguson, Ferguson, what? Mabel, what did I do? Ferguson, walked into the pond. Mabel, was I out of my mind? Ferguson, maybe for the moment. Mabel, am I out of my mind now? Ferguson, are you? No, I don't see that you are. Can you tell me where I shall find some dry things to put on? Mabel, did you dive into the pond for me? Ferguson, no, I walked in, but I went in overhead as well. Mabel, why did you? Ferguson, because I didn't want you to do such a foolish thing. Mabel, it wasn't foolish. It was the right thing to do. I knew best then. Ferguson, I'll go and shift these wet things. Mabel, who undressed me? Ferguson, I did to bring you round. Mabel, do you love me then? Mabel, do you love me? You love me. I know you love me. I know. But Ferguson had never wanted to love her. When he rescued her and restored her, he was a doctor and she was a patient. He had had no single personal thought of her. Mabel repeats, you love me. You love me, you love me? In a rather faltering tone, Ferguson eventually says, Yes. 